seven o'clock train to Paris. It's really quiet on there. Apart from the crying baby, it's really quiet. And I'm so tired. We've been up since around half three in the morning to make sure that we'd get everything sorted. Sorry, I wasn't trying to whisper in. I'll probably put subtitles down at the bottom or something. So um, I'd just like to welcome you to a three part or a four part series, depending how many videos I make on it. Welcome to Paris. <laughs> So the reason that me and Em are on our way to Paris is because we're about to celebrate our one year anniversary and it's kind of crazy that we've only been together for a year because we've already got our own flat and everything and most people don't do that until they're like two, three years into their relationship. The reason why we've done it is because we just felt it was right and we connected so well together. and. We just make each other happy all the time. We're off to Paris to celebrate our one year. And on our actual day of anniversary, we will be going to a very, very special, magical place. I think you already know what it is, but yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's uh, enjoy some time lapses of the train. <laughs> So we just had a nap. <laughs> um, time is five to two, I think. Still a bit more tired, but yeah. We're gonna head out and try to do as much touristy stuff as we can for the time being. I just think, I've, we're just knackers already. <laughs> already knackered, but we've gone the waste this day. So uh, let's go and explore. So right now, as you can see behind me, we are standing on the Champs-Élysées right in front of the Arc de Triomphe. And I mean, this is the third time I've been to Paris and I'm always just blown away by this architecture. It's basically, it's very breathtaking. So, um, yeah. So we've just been having a few photos taken in front of it and then hopefully we're actually going to head to the very top of it. So uh, yeah, we're going to have a wander around inside and see how it goes. So, <laughs> so, as you could probably tell from that clip previously, there was a massive queue and I don't think we're going up there today. Hopefully, we might go up there in the next day or so, but today I don't think it's going to be a... I don't think today's the day to go up to the Arc de Triomphe, unfortunately. But, um, I mean, I still get to admire it from out here. I mean, it, it's... It, I can't get over, honestly, I can't get over how beautiful this thing is. It's incredible. I saw it for the first time in, uh, well, the first time in person in around 2013. 
and that was when I came to Paris for the first time on a school trip. I might just have a wander around, take some more photos, and let's see where it goes. <laughs> I just want to kind of give a quick rundown of what's happened today. So we started our day at St Pancras, bright and early in the morning, had a train from 7 o'clock and we arrived in Paris at 10. We went straight to McDonald's, had a really, really nice McDonald's there and had some macaroons as well which were beautiful. That's the one thing what I love about uh, France, they have uh, macaroons on the McDonald's list and they are bloody amazing. After that, we uh, got a train all the way down to our hotel where we're going to be staying with. And because I mentioned it was our anniversary to them, they were able to actually bump us up to a really nice room. So once we set out, the first thing we did, hopped on the train and I surprised them and took them to the Chandelier. However, <laughs> we ended up in the wrong part of the Chandelier. <laughs> So I was, I was hoping the first thing that she would see is the Arc de Triomphe since she comes out of the station. However, <laughs> we ended up somewhere completely different and I even had no idea where I was. Walked down the Champs Elysees, I was actually able to get this new PSG shirt which I've wanted for quite a while. It's the new Champions League one, the, the Jordan one. No, thank you. The one thing. Paris is so beautiful. It's the city of love. I mean, it's, you can't go wrong with that. But it is an instant buzzkill with the amount of people that come round with these crappy little Eiffel Tower plastic things, and then other people with champagne, beer, and just basically trying to scam all these tourists with expensive alcohol and stuff. And it just it's it's a it's a buzzkill. It really just ruins the atmosphere. But they don't seem to get it. Because unfortunately, all they care about is money. Uh, I'm, I want to add a money gift, some raining money on this when I say that. I was able to uh, chill around the Arc de Triomphe for a bit, which is pretty cool. Oh, here's actually a tip. If you're coming down to Paris and you want to go to a restaurant with a view, such as the Eiffel Tower, <laughs> don't. Because there's just... No, thank you. Don't, because there are no restaurants here. Seriously, as crazy as it sounds, there are nothing. And we were shocked when we found that out. And we found it out the hard way. <laughs> we luckily found this little stall. Um, and they were really nice, they were really helpful with us and everything. And we had this ham and cheese baguette, which is really nice, with a banana and a drink. And that came to £10. Yeah, um, get at me Tesco £3 meal deal, more like a... Eiffel Tower 10 pound baguette mill deal, am I right? And now here we are, outside the Eiffel Tower, taking in the views, enjoying the atmosphere, having fun, and getting ready for day two. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next vlog. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well, and I will see you guys in the next video.